questions? Can I turn it over? That's a deal. It's interesting because we have a lot of leaders. Uh, I don't have to describe them all, but he's really looked up to Patrice over the years playing with him, uh, how he conducts himself on and off the ice in the gym. So I think he's taken a, a big page out of his book when it comes to that off ice post game uh, regimen. So he's got a lot of those traits. Um, when they get on the ice, they're obviously different players, but you know he's willing to work with the young guys as well. Pasternak has been on their line. Used Hine in there, so I think he has a good influence on those guys. DeBrusque, so he's not our main go to guy, but he will grab guys I think that play similar games and can do a good job with them. <clears throat> I think that's where he has the biggest impact, and obviously, just his play on the ice and leading by example. Probably his two, two biggest ways he gets stuff done. You, you, you tweak the line so much, maybe the first series and the second half, first half of the second series, but you kept pretty consistent lines now. And just Well, I think every player wants stability, line mate, defense partner. I just feel sometimes the opposition, how the game's going, how the temperature of the series going, has allowed us, because of our depth, to move people in. I think we've talked about why Kuhlman goes in and back us, or Wagner goes out. We've been down that road. Um, and ultimately, those are the guys who are with us all year, wags and backs. We want them to play their ability you know, to their ceiling. and. Help us win games. Cooley came in late here and did a good job. So I think it was just more about that. Lately, <coughs> things have settled in. Um, when you're winning, you, you don't want to change a lot. I have <coughs> certainly done that, Matt, in the past, depending on, like I said, if I see the, the series uh, picking up pace or physicality. And that's what happened with Columbus for the most part. They get, at the end, we need to be a little heavier and move back. So so game one, I don't know what Carolina you're watching. You figured it'd be fast and physical, but the series will play itself out and we'll see how if Coleman is a better fit down the road. When you have to play a game without McAvoy, what's missed most? Uh, breakouts. <coughs> Quick transition in the neutral zone. Those, those, those kind of seam passes or those up the middle passes that maybe the other guys just don't have the vision or confidence or both to make. So those quick strike plays where forwards are getting pucks <coughs> in, the, in their hands in good spots with a little better chance to attack other than maybe a more um, predictable play where the team can close on. That's probably the biggest difference. Physicality in the playoffs too. He's really, I think, up to his, obviously got suspended for it, but he's trying to play a more physical, clean game um, than maybe did in the regular season. Knowing he's matched up with top guys every night, he's going to see them for you know, two weeks straight if necessary. I think those are two two things we missed on. Camper comes in, scores a nice goal for us. So obviously the offensive side of it, we got uh, it's been a story of our whole playoffs with a lot of different guys scores. So that was good. The cherry uh, <coughs> tracking towards being a possibility when you hit Carolina. Maybe? Yes, yes, he won't play tomorrow. Uh, doing well, should be a full practice Monday. I don't. We'll see what we're doing that day, but he'll be ready, whatever the case may be, for Monday, and hopefully that allows him to play Tuesday, and then we'll make our decision then. Any more? Any progress at all on Miller at all? Uh, nothing new to report there. Okay. Um, in terms of this team never really being satisfied, always identifying their mistakes, whether it's a loss or a win, where does that come from to you? Is that part of in their, you know, in them, or is it is it the leadership core that helps that? Well, I think it's. I think since day one, we've as a staff tried to walk in here. This is what we did well. This we need to work on in terms of the video part. <coughs> it's usually seventy percent good, thirty percent bad. In terms of how we want to present it, doesn't mean the game was 70% good or 30% bad, but that's how we try to approach more or less our video. Mm -hmm. More good than bad, but we need to work on the stuff. And today was no different. We talked about stuff from game one that we need to do better. So, um, and then part of that is our group. They want to continue to elevate. Bergie talks about it all the time: build your game, build your game. Z. You know, those are buzzwords around our room. Just keep building our game. It makes my job easier when the guys buy into to that because. I said we ask for 100% perfect execution. You're never going to get it, but you can still ask for it, strive for it, and mm -hmm. I think the guys take that to heart.
I know this, there's always confidence in, in Tuca between uh, the pipes, but like, does it elevate at all when you're seeing just the way that he's played? I think so. I think any, anybody would tell you that. He's really, it's not that we know he can't, but to, to be consi as consistent as he has been, I mean, that's you know one of the reasons that four teams advance generally is if their goaltender stays consistent the whole way, you're not having to win by scoring five, six goals. So that part of it is, you know, we've seen him go in stretches, you know, or what was it this year? I forget the last year, December games. this year, January, right? Where he gets those rips off 12 to 15 games. And now some of that, obviously the product of the team, but so he can certainly get in his zones. Um, so we need to rip off another three weeks or whatever it is, because <laughs> that's generally what it takes. And I, I, I'm really impressed by his, Focus every night. Even his puck play hasn't slipped. Every part of his game seems to be focused and dialed in. Doesn't mean he's perfect, but you know, it just seems like he's ready for whatever's coming at him. Physicality the other night, he gets bumped on the on the second goal. Um, and doesn't phase and hangs in there. Makes some good saves after that to give us a chance. And so all, all that stuff he puts whatever happened behind him. And that, that's, that's real good. Two cool things today. <coughs> I think so. I think we have some older guys that he's not the only one that realize that it's just the way the game, you know, the way it is. It's where they are in their stage in their life, how this, where we are as a team, that this is a great opportunity. You know, I, I'm not going to sit here and talk about when the window closes or the next one opens and all that stuff. But they know they the last they won what, eight years ago, so eight, you know, a lot of years have passed, a lot of wear and tear in the body for the core group, so they know that what it takes, but they also know that it's not that easy. So I, I do believe he's embracing it, as are about five or six other guys. You mentioned uh, Tuca and the way he plays. It's consistent. How important is that word right now for you, from each and every night from each guy? Consistency, Brad was talking about momentum swings. We need to do better than that, you know, some positive momentum. But does it coach the word consistency? Well, we, I think we have been for the most part. We, we didn't open well game one. We were flat. After that, I mean, we, we lost games in there, but I thought at least we were, you know, right there at the end. It didn't go our way. I got to think back to Toronto, maybe one of the losses at home. But it was still a two to one game on a reviewable goal. So it wasn't our best, but we're in the game. So I think our, our, our team is pretty good at that, staying in, in the game when it not allowing it to get away from us. Part of that is Tuca, I think, the other night against Carolina in the second period. After that second goal, we, I don't know what, we, we lost it for a few minutes in terms of our focus. Um, you know, whether they didn't execute or we got the save and then we got it back. And we usually will. And so that's certainly built into your consistency, right? I mean, you, you, getting it back in game is easier said than done. Uh, we were able to. And then take the lead, and I'm not sure they did in the third. We were able to get their game back and have that push that they probably want, that probably their regrets. So I think uh, it's very important for every team that usually starts with the older guys. Thanks, everyone. <coughs>